Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can run an iPhone in your browser. Now there are two methods on how to do it. First method is paid but also free and requires no money for the trial. And the second method requires a MacBook or a Macintosh machine running macOS Monterey or higher. Now, alternatively you can use a virtual machine but since they have less VRAM or virtual RAM, it will lag a lot. So in this video I will show you how to do the first method. That being said, let's get started. <laughs> Stop open any browser of yours and then type in lambda test. Now there will be another website so scroll down till you see lambda test.com. Now you will need to create an account which isn't that hard so I won't show it on the video but I will write on how to create it in the description down below. So once you've created your account you want to go ahead and click dashboard. Once there go to browser testing from here choose a phone. Notice that you will have to pay for the high quality phones but other than that you can use other devices like the iPhone 12 Pro or the 11 which is completely free to use. After you've selected your device you can go ahead and click on start. Now it will show a phone which has a bunch of loaded progress. After the phone is booted it will launch a browser so simply swipe up to exit it. Now since this is an iOS simulator you don't have the full features of an iPhone such as the control center, camera or even the app store. But you can customize things such as the wallpaper or even home screen. And you can also interact with the side buttons such as this power, volume and even silent. Now even if this is a simulator, this has some features of an iPhone like Siri or even shortcuts. You can also rearrange the apps and even test your own iOS apps. Notice that you will only get 10 minutes of testing time if you have a free account. But if you have a paid account, you get unlimited time. So this is how to run an iPhone in your browser. Next, I will show you how to run an iPhone in your existing Mac device. And yes, I am getting a MacBook, but it's not a new one, but you know, it's a very, very quick and fast one. And I saw some pictures and it looks gorgeous. Other than that, I will see you there in the next video.